Do you guys remember like, I don't know, two or three weeks ago, I bought quite literally a bread truck full of plush? Oh, hey, check this out. Yesterday, on yesterday's episode, we went to the Goodwill bins and we bought a 500 pound bundle of plushie. Right next to you. That one? Gray. One? Yeah. Wind up. Would have been a big lull. <laughs> I have something tells me you would have been safe. <laughs> well, I sold a bunch of them in my antique mall. I did a bunch with a bunch of other stuff, but I still have about 26 large garbage bags full of plush. And look who's here. Ivan and I have worked out a deal. He's gonna take a bunch of them off my hands. He's gonna take them back to Texas and sell them. But we gotta get to work, because we've got bags. Bags on bags on bags. Okay, how many bags do you want, Ivan? Ten. <laughs> Did you see it? All? It shot dust out like a rocket. <laughs> it's doing slow mo. It <laughs> did. All right, that's good. All right, well, I'm gonna get a few more just out right here. This is gonna be dangerous. You roll it too? Yeah. It's like a narrow. Don't hurt yourself on the rack. <laughs> I'm gonna get impaled. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I didn't crush anything valuable. We got it in slow mo though. Jackass 2021. Here. Oh, that's one nice, but there's doo-doo, baby. Poop stains, we found poop stains. I haven't even started. There's a hundred of them. We've got an assembly line. They're dumping them out. Putting the ones they don't want back in, throwing the ones they do want to me, and I'm packing the car. So all those plush got donated to various Goodwills all over Phoenix. No. They didn't sell, or they never got on the sales floor. Uh, they got shipped yeah, cool. to our clearance center. Clearance center bundled them up. I bought them, I brought them here. I sold a couple on eBay. Ivan's gonna take a whole bunch of what's left back home and sell, and then I'm gonna donate the rest to something. Oh. I don't know what yet, we'll figure something oh. out. I'm sure they won't be that hard to give away. Great itch, very nice. For real? Scary. Is it a, a puppet? puppet? It's a poop it. Let me see it. <laughs> Therapy squirrel. Who wants to tell me their problems? Ooh, he's like a thumb puppet. He's a tell thumb puppet. Go dads and strife! When we got all of these stuffed animals, they were bundled up, so they were packed real tight. And Hannah was just noticing how now, since they've just been in looser bags for a while, they've all aired out. They're almost all back to normal. Build the bear monkey. My money, mo stuffies. They spelled Monique's name when we went to Culver's today. Mo nice. So that's her name from now on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Until she's not nice, it'll be Mo not nice. Nothing. Hello, Ivan's camera. This is Tindo's camera. Come on, Peppa. You're going to Texas. There's got to be a technical term for the problem that I have. I mean, some would call me uh, an attention, W-H-O-R-E. Uh, but you know, I, I do a lot of the things we do on this channel for show, but for some reason, Ivan's camera comes on, I start acting a fool. So if you want to see what really happened today, go watch his channel. <laughs> He's got the guts to show it. Build a bear. Build a bear. Build a bear. Is that an octopus? Oh, yeah, that's a cool one. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. A little bit of doo-doo. That's, that's money. Doo -doo on it. A little bit of doo doo. That's how you wiped it off. It's that's more like mystery substance. That's that's not Defcon doo doo. Defcon doo doo. <laughs> that's just Defcon mysteries. Oh, I've seen a lot of Defcon doo doo from the bins. Yeah. Eesh. I'm like, I hope. Why is that same substance on so many plush on different days? Yeah, it's weird, huh? It's weird. Is it like one employee at the Goodwill is spilling their soda on everything? 
I hope it's soda. <laughs> and not DEF CON doo-doo? Not DEF CON, not. I ran out of toilet paper. So if you're one of those people that commented below or messaged me wanting something, good chance it's on I have his eBay page. Go over to their page, subscribe, check out their eBay link. Which one? We're, getting, we're actually making pretty good progress. We got one, two, three, four, five, about six bags left. Are those yays? Yays. Heck yeah. What is this one? Explain this one to me. It's a lion. It's just a lion. <laughs> people like lions. Uh, this is the Aurora. Aurora is a good brand. Heck yeah. And then, Max the Dog well, and Grinch always sell oh, fantastically. For sure. You got a Grinch out of there earlier, didn't yeah. you? Cool. Bought it up. And if you want to know more about Plush, go visit this guy's page. As soon as I bought it all, I texted a picture of all of it to him and said, when are you going to come get this? Hey! Oh, it's dead. I got this one. Fell short. Okay. Don't worry, Ivan will clean them before he sends them to you. Ivan, it's getting difficult to cram these in your trunk. <laughs> it's overflowing. We have made it to the last bag and we're almost done. Those have to go back to the storage unit. But first, who's gonna jump on the pile? Anybody? If you're scared, say you're scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Random tail. I need someone to jump off. Off Your car? car. <laughs> Jump off the car. <laughs> Alright, Ivan, swan dive. If you're scared, say you're scared, I'll do it. Land right on top of that top bag. Cause you don't listen, you don't want to shoulder between bags and hit the ground. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> now now neither of us can get up. Get up! Get up! <laughs> All right. Y'all are nuts. All right, let's assembly line them back in the garage. Just toss them to me and I'll toss them where they go. They're so hot. This was so much easier with four people instead of two. You should have seen how long it took me to get all these in the bags. Who will call it? My wham bam. Work out for the year. <laughs> I don't know all of it. That's all I got. <laughs> You do more than me. Did you check out the trunk? Yeah, let's do a final. All right, let's close the trunk. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. This is going to be difficult. We got to do a quick cameras okay. are going to die. This is not going to open until we get back to Texas, so. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget and open it at a gas station. Oh, that was all right. All right. Yeah. Ivan the plush man. You gotta change your YouTube name, Ivan, Ivan de Plush. Ivan de Plush. All right, we're home and I got a bunch of stuff here at home I need to dive into and work on. And I'm very excited to do that. I've got a couple things I wanna show off. I got a couple things I wanna work on. But I wanted to say, Ivan Ramit just walked out the door. I love those guys. Thanks all you guys who subbed to their channel and are now following along with them. If you haven't done so already, links are still below the video. Make sure you go give them guys a sub and watch what they're doing. They've still got a few more days of travel back home. They're gonna do some cool stuff, so make sure you check it out. But, you remember right when they got here and I took them to the bins and I came home with a stack of 3DO games? Well, I said on that episode that I was immediately going to order some plastic protectors for them, and I did. And you can kind of see here, I've already got this bad boy in some. I am pretty much already went ahead and put them all in these cases. Uh, I didn't want to waste a second because several of these games are actually quite valuable and these tall cardboard boxes, they're not very rigid, they're not very good at standing up and taking weight on their own, so they're the kind of game I like to put in protectors and you know, when it comes to putting video games in protectors, you definitely want to do a little research. If you're in the wrong kind of climate, sometimes moisture can get into these things and get trapped. There's a lot of reasons to do this and not to do this, but I'm confident that it's okay for me to do in this region, in this climate, for some of my games, that it's important that they keep their shape. So I order these kinds of things pretty regularly. 
and put my basically my cardboard box game so a good half of my Game Boy collection is in these same kind of protectors and they all come with a little film on them it sometimes could be a little bit difficult to get off but there you go I was peeling it the wrong way oh baby and I ordered these on eBay it was actually a little bit difficult to find someone currently making 3DO boxes. Uh, Game Boy boxes for this kind of thing, Game Boy protectors, Game Boy protector boxes, are quite common. Everybody wants to protect their Game Boy games. Um, but there were several online stores that previously offered these but currently are not. Oh, look at that slide. Oh, that's satisfying. But everyone was just kind of out of them. So I finally found a dealer on eBay that was selling them and I ordered I ordered 25 of them. And I only have like 8 or 9 games, so I'll have a few extras and I'll be set for the for the next several 3DO games that I buy. But I just thought it was funny how quick these came in. These actually came before we left for the trip. So I ordered them the day that I bought the 3DO games. They arrived about 3 days later. Uh, the eBay seller that sold them to me sent them out quick so i'm not gonna link it below because if you just search 3do protective cases on ebay that guy's shop's gonna come up because he's the one selling them but i'm glad that's done i'm even more glad about how nice these are gonna look on my shelves ta-da i love that i'm very happy about that i'm very happy with that but honestly it makes me want to spend more money because I've got my expensive games, of course, Game Boy games in these protectors, but not all of my Game Boy games are in them, and I kind of want to just go ahead and put the rest of them in there. I feel a lot safer about it because I've got things packed pretty tight in some of these shelves, and you know, it just kind of takes away some worry, that extra strength of that plastic. But that's it. I wanted to update you guys on that because I'm now a 3DO collector. That's just, that's I, I collect 3DO games now, whereas I didn't. I went from none to... With a couple other games, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, there's like 11, 12 games up there. It's a good start. Now, there's one other thing I need to do today that has to get done. I might do some other stuff, but I've got all these Dragon Ball Z VHS. And a lot of you guys know I'm pretty diehard about collecting those. And actually, here's most of my DVDs. But they're one of the things that I have been collecting for a little while that I've neglected to keep good track of. Other things on that list are my demo discs, which I just very recently added to my game app, my game collecting app. And another one is my Game Informer magazine. So since I scratched off the demo discs and I can now go to a game store and look at my app and go, oh, I have this disc, I don't have that disc, I need to be able to do the same thing with my Game Informers. So at some point I need to organize those. I've got more Game Informers to be sorted than Game Informers in my collection, which means most of these Game Informers are right here on this shelf. That whole run right there, that's all stuff that are probably just doubles and triples that are going to go to my antique mall. I sell them for a few bucks each, like hotcakes. Uh, but I'm very eager to complete that collection. Number 100 through 160 with Game Informers, really difficult uh, to get. And I've got a few of those, and then the rest of that shelf is all the way up to the most current run and uh everything after like 170 up to the most current run i have about 75 percent of so the hope is that maybe five or ten of those 200 magazines right there will get fed into my collection i don't know if i'm gonna do that on today's episode because that one's gonna take half the day but i want to get these dragon ball z tapes down and get rid of my doubles so that i can save some room and uh put some more of these extender shelves up that's very important for my game room. I've, I've been needing to get all the way around these shelves. I was supposed to be done by January 1st because every January 1st we do a game room tour in here. But it didn't happen. Because it's kind of expensive. It's like $25, $30 a piece. Pop, pop, pop. And each one I got to paint yellow because they come in white. Uh, but we're going to figure out this VHS nonsense. I know I've got a lot of doubles. And I'm trying to figure out what the best way to kind of line them all up is. It's probably going to be like this. So I can just match up these numbers. These numbers are the technical way in which they are uh, organized and categorized and stuff. You can also kind of organize them by the murals that come on the side, but that's obviously not as uh, certain. But I'm going to get all those down. We're going to get rid of some Dragon Ball Z tapes today. 
I'm also eventually going to end up buying the same kind of plastic protectors for these. <laughs> but most plastic cover cases, 3DO, Game Boy, all of them, they're almost always a dollar a piece and you buy them 25 for 25 bucks. And that's what I'm going to do, but it's going to be a little bit more expensive because I think I'm probably nearing, I don't know, 50, 75 tapes. I haven't counted. It's kind of part of today's chore. I've been wanting to go back and do a rewatch of Dragon Ball Z pretty, pretty bad. And I haven't done it because I'm kind of holding on to this really unrealistic dream of one day completing the VHS tape and giving it a rewatch on VHS. Wouldn't that be awesome? I don't know. I've got most of my DVD. It's completely unnecessary, but there's so many. Some of these are terribly obvious. Definitely doubles. I'll probably just keep the one without the Goodwill sticker. Yeah, perfect, basically untouched. There's no great way to do this. It's almost too difficult to see the numbers. So I'm just kind of going to go by the artwork, the thumbnail. I don't think I have a ton of doubles, but I got enough. Plus, these probably are going to go for like four or five dollars in trading credit a piece. So there's a double. You can kind of check by color too a little bit, but I'm just trying not to get this wrong. See, a lot of them so far have had a double. I've got like two copies of everything. Oh, I actually, you know what? I see why I've done this. Hold the horses. I forget every single time I do this. This is all, this is really frustrating. Look at this. Two different, two different of the same one. Uncut and cut. That's why I've been keeping both. What do I do? I think I just keep the uncut, but I've been keeping one of each. For a reason I remember now I do this every time yeah I really don't want to keep doubles of everything so I think I'm gonna eventually keep the uncut versions of everything but I don't really want to make that decision now all right I'm gonna call an audible I'm just gonna keep the uncuts there's no reason to do doubles don't be a crazy person I repeat do not be a crazy person all right, I didn't quite get rid of half, but I did get rid of about an Ikea bag, so it's nothing to sneeze at. Hannah, you want to make a guess how much Bookman's is going to give us for all those Dragon Ball Z VHS? Uh, I'm hoping like maybe 20 30 Yeah, I'm hoping for like $3 a piece, because they sell them for, you know, 6 to 10 sometimes. Yeah, they do. I kind of plan on saving this credit up and driving up north to a Bookman's that we haven't been to in a while, but... I don't know, you know, I could spend it today. I thought that was a 3DO game. I was about to be like, buy. I had one more to the collection. I'm pretty much going to buy any 3DO game I see on the spot. I mean, unless it's one of those multi, multi hundred dollar ones. Check it out, the Pokemon cards. The first edition Shadowless Poliwhirl caught my eye. 40 bucks. I checked it out on old eBay. It's about right. The only thing I'm seeing that I really want is Biker Mice from Mars. 15 bucks. Could snag it today, but I'm really trying to be patient. <sighs> Tough choices. Surprise, we're in a Goodwill. There's a Goodwill right next door, so I figured I might as well check it. I've got several copies of that. Oh, no way. Pretty sure I was just looking at this next door. The Bible game. All right, well. I will buy that. Hannah's next door waiting for them to check our stuff to tell us how much store credit they'll give us for the VHS tapes and stuff. So I'm going to check the brass dolls while we're here. Hmm. Lots of Barbie. Nothing. Watch. You see this? Yes. To call my name, look. <laughs> you just find that? Found that a good will for three bucks. That's funny. It's got ten bucks on it here. All right, let's go see what they're gonna give me. Uh, sixty-five credit. Okay. Thirty-five money. I'll take the sixty-five credit. Thank right, you man. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hannah, what do you think about this game? 
Um, I bet you know a lot of the answers. Do you think it's a trivia game? I think so. Uh, Fast-paced, beat-the-buzzer TV game, show-type action. Nailed it. It's absolutely a trivia <laughs> game. Uh, we might have to play that over on our other channel, Rubber Duck Yellow. Go subscribe to that. Subscribe to Ivan and Monique. I know I've asked a billion times, but they're so close to 2,000 subs. And this is the last time I'm going to say anything about it, probably until we go visit them again. So I'm just taking every opportunity in this video to ask you because uh, they're, they're working hard. To make the content they make i i uh ivan's one of those people that i appreciate him because he works as hard and sometimes uh harder than me so he deserves it he deserves it go sub uh what else can we talk about before we get out of here live show sunday 10 p.m eastern come back for that we're trying to amp those up and do bigger and better things and uh i don't know what else um vacation was good to yeah, vegas it was fun glad to be home though ready to do some bins here in town Though, I don't know, it may not be that much fun since we just went to Vegas bins and had such a good time, but we'll see. Uh, it is good to be home. Appreciate you guys. Uh, hit the subscribe button before we get out of here. Help us get to 10... To... No, we're already at 10,000 subs. <laughs> oh, help us get to 15,000 subs and then come back tomorrow because we do post videos every day on this channel. So until tomorrow, peace out.